It's a city where anything can happen, so what could go wrong or right? It is Emmy Sunday, and what better way to reveal LA's new show, LA Inscripted, than from the rooftop at the Waldorf Astoria Beverly Hills. Show two, clip two. Yeah, 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 yeah. The rhymes, you know they keep you moving every time. Fantasticness. You moving every time. Yes, yes, yes. Right here. Oh, we are fresh, fresh, fresh. Look at the billboard. The best, best. 7 p.m. Watch LA Unscripted. My cool is on top. Did you ever see the show Something About Mary? And clap. My cool is on top. If I was a dog and I saw one of these on the street, I would run after it. A ball. My cool is on top. Woo! I'm picking up hitchhikers, very colorful hitchhikers. Ready with you? <laughs> because you are the sweetest frosting on any cake. Oh, I bet you would say that. Clear down. I dare you to do aerial yoga with me. That's right. So much great. Is yes. it right? This is like anime. Yes. We're going to continue creating beautiful books that people are proud to hold and share with their children. If I didn't grow up here, I wouldn't be this gay professional that I am. The only thing you have to do is you have to promise me you're going to watch. How much? This is free! Just like our show. Our show is free. Thank you so much. Congratulations on being just an awesome. Well, by the way, I have to ask your thoughts on the election. Yeah, we did that. So now we're at, isn't this the best? You're the best. Because like, yeah. one of the first questions people ask is, have you seen any celebrities? Okay, I do have two celebrity stories. You can use either one. Okay. Okay, so I have a, I have only two because I haven't been here that long. Right, right. But the first one is they both happened the weekend that I was down here. I knew I had the job. Okay. But no one else knew I had the job, so I had to be really quiet about it, and I had to find a place to live. So okay. first of all, I felt like I was in House Hunters International because I had to see like seven places in right. one weekend and choose. But I got to the hotel, staying at the Intercontinental. Cut that part out. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm making friends with the concierge because, you know, I need to know a few places around as I'm driving around looking at places. And my husband and I come down to go to dinner and she says, I can't tell you why, but you need to stay here for three more minutes. And I was like, oh, okay. So I go and I peek in the ballroom. So you take the cupcake. Okay. You separate it. Oh, right. And then you, oh, this has cream on it. Then you put the top into that. And it, it distributes the food. Oh, you better. messed up the. Oh. No, but this one has stuffing in it. Oh. A cupcake sandwich. Okay. And it's Sam Rubin. Stop! No, who's in the ballroom. Stop it! It's the Critics' Choice Awards, and I don't even know it. And he doesn't know I'm his boss. <laughs> and I'm standing there looking at him, and he's getting ready to shoot a segment. And three minutes later, the black car pulls up, and it's J Lo. Stop and it place, right now! The place goes bananas. And me, I'm sort of like, oh, is this every day? Is this every day here? Because, but it was crazy and it was really fun. That was that was the first day. Did great. you say anything to Sam? No, you I didn't. I couldn't say anything to that Sam. I couldn't say anything. I have a question for you. Okay. How far are you willing to go for this show? I mean, would you be willing for us to put your face, giant face, on a billboard? Do you want it on a billboard? I love it on a billboard. Absolutely. Ooh. In our atmosphere, we'll stay right here. Chilling with you. Never 
in my wildest dreams did I ever dream that a show would come out of this or that I would be standing in like one of the biggest cities in the entire world and, and looking at our three faces in the valley at the corner of Ventura and Rubio. Like it's just a, it's like a really big moment for me of all these decades I've been in television news. I've never, I've never had a billboard. Dana, we gotta go. We gotta go. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, don't stop. Tick tock, tick tock. Party time. Tick tock, tick tock, don't stop. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Party time. Tick tock, tick tock, don't stop. <laughs> We would love to do the show every day from the Waldorf Astoria Beverly Hills. And trust me, we asked, they said, hard pass. Hi everyone, I'm Dana Devon. Thanks for coming along for the ride where anything can happen and oh, it does. Okay, Vanessa Williams is joining me. You're the general manager of the Waldorf Astoria Beverly Hills, correct? I am. How many people think you're the other Vanessa Williams? Oh, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I often say that I get the best tables in restaurants Hilarious. because I make a reservation and they think it's the other Vanessa Williams. So. Yeah, but this Vanessa Williams isn't so bad because you set us up in the most beautiful penthouse suite I have ever seen in my entire life. What is the reaction of people when they come into this brand new space and when they come up to the rooftop garden and to the penthouse? I think the, the first reaction most of the time as well, which is, <laughs> which is great. Yes. I think, you know, we've really, really tried to create an environment that is subtle and elegant and contemporary, but also really stuck in the 1920s yes. California, which I think if you look at the entire hotel from the front door. Oh my gosh. Wow, what a gorgeous, gorgeous place. All the way up into our suites, into the presidential suite, I think we've been able to really do that. This is unbelievable, but the icing, as I heard, this hotel has some of the most state-of-the-art technology in the country when it comes to sanitation. My owner was um, adamant that we would also spend some time to have a look at how we could create a low risk environment, how we could keep our staff safe, how we could keep our guests safe. And I think with that said, we were able to introduce a lot of um, technologies into the hotel. We were able to experiment with those technologies. And then we took it one step further. We went above and beyond, you know. We uh, introduced UV technology, so we have robots in this hotel. So. Robots? Robots. So once we go into a room, we actually put that room on a 24 hour hold. So no one goes into that room for 24 hours. We then have our housekeeping team go in, use all of the Hilton Clean Stay protocols. We get that room completely cleaned and sanitized. The last thing or person that goes into the room is our robot ambassador with the robot. We basically zap the entire room with UV technology. We then pull the robot out, we seal that door, and the very next person to go into the room is our hotel guest. On behalf of LA Unscripted, we love you so much. Thank you so much. This is the nicest thing we've ever seen, all of us. Thank you so much for having us. It's absolutely my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. You guys have got to come visit. Well, what is the overall concept of food and beverage here at the Waldorf Astoria? Sure, so we work very closely with Jean-Georges um, and all of our restaurants, uh, he's a huge part of it. Rooftop by JG, Jean-Georges. We have Jean-Georges Beverly Hills downstairs on the lobby level. French dining with California cuisine twists. The restaurant downstairs mm -hmm. is about to open. Correct. Tell me about that. Like a lot of restaurants all over the country, these restaurants have been closed and it's breaking our heart. Mm -hmm. So finally, Jean-Georges, we have an idea to get the doors open uh, October 1st. We're gonna do a eight course tasting experience on the Jean-Georges Terrace. So this will be fully outside, open air, just like the rooftop is but it'll be much more of an elegant dining experience. 
And is this some of what we would see on that menu? Actually, this is some of the food that we do on the rooftop by JG. Oh, perfect. So we have some of our big hitters here. The, the number one favorite by all of our guests is the lobster burger, our pea guacamole. So it's guacamole with fresh peas. We make these chips in house. Uh, Alimony it right there when you order it. It is probably the best tasting and sharing dish you can get. I have a couple of these a week, I think. Really? Oh yeah, it's, it's amazing, especially during summer, it's perfect. We have our crispy sushi. Okay. Then of course our luck to bowl of chocolate cake. Now that looks delicious. This is amazing, by the way. And this looks a lot better than some of the other food I've had on the set of LA Unscripted. Mmm. 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 Sorry, erase that. Show four, Show four. clip two. I mean it is cocktail time, Martha. If we're drinking margaritas tonight, I've got your ingredients. Talk me through your margarita. Hey, I made one of those, yeah. I made real good quesadillas the other night. Oh, and I thought, gee, this really calls for margaritas. And then we stuck with Martha wine. <laughs> we haven't done we haven't done we haven't done the margarita, but uh, before this is over, I'm sure we will be making some delicious mixed drinks. Yeah. So I, my margarita is made from fresh juice. Do you right. do fresh juice? Absolutely. I've got your fresh lime juice. You have access to lemons, limes, yeah. sour oranges, calamondins. You mm. can do all that stuff. Yeah. So squeeze some fresh limes mm -hmm. and oh, fresh Meyer lemons. Yeah. Put that together. Yeah. And then uh, equal parts of lime juice and tequila. Mm -hmm about a quarter of that in Cointreau. I like to use Cointreau or Grand Marnier. What do you use? You know you know what I've been loving is Casamigos. Oh. Clooney's. Well, that's, oh, that's the tequila. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was talking about the orange liqueur. Don't you put oh, any the orange, orange liqueur? Oh, the orange liqueur, the Grand Marnier. Oh, Grand Marnier is good, yeah. 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 Oh, Casa Amigos is so great. Right, isn't it good? Uh, I, I, I love the owners of Casa Amigos, don't yeah. you? They're so great. Okay, yeah. got my lime juice. So, so then um, a little bit of sugar. Okay. Not too much, but a little bit. And shake, 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 or blend in a blender Ooh. with ice. Frozen margarita. Mm -hmm. And I always salt the edge of my glass. I put fresh lime juice on the edge of my glass, and I put the uh, kosher salt. And uh, let that dry before you pour it. Oh, look, you did it very fast. Boy, you're an expert. <laughs> that looks amazing. Oh, cheers amazing. to you, Martha. You're making me thirsty. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's so great to see you. Be well. Okay, thank you so much. And you too, and be safe. You too, Martha. Thanks. Don't go anywhere. More LA Unscripted coming from the Waldorf Astoria, Beverly Hills. That's actually funny. At least Sunday is the hottest day of the year. Yes. Everyone is burning up out there. Jessica Holmes was pregnant a few years ago on the carpet, like eight Megan months Megan Tellis was pregnant on yes. the carpet last year. Right. So it's part of our family, it's part of our tradition, and, and we just grow, and it's, so we just had to do it anyway. Whether there's an Emmys or not, we have to do an Emmys red carpet show. Because we don't play with our entertainment here. <laughs> that, we are serious right. about our entertainment here. And then right before that, we have something really big that I'm so excited about. It's a sneak peek for something really cool. So, you know, KKLA, we're the news station. We're LA's very own. We do a ton of news. But we're gonna do something a little different now. We're gonna do, it's a show that's really more about the people of LA and telling their stories, whether it's the, the roller rink in South LA that means so much to that community or the best taco stand in East LA. So we're really gonna meet, you know, you're gonna meet some amazing people. How many amazing people have you already met shooting and getting ready for the show? Looking at my own industry, I knew right away how toxic boards were and what a massive footprint they were creating in terms of trash. And so I wanted to make them as, as environmentally friendly as possible and do what I could. I actually made the switch firstly from a performance standpoint. My boards are stronger, they didn't break anymore. The first iteration, you know, my first thing, I was like, well, my customers would be stoked because their boards are stronger and it's eco-friendly. 
if I'm making a product that says eco and environmentally friendly on it and it's creating more trash that could potentially end up in the landfill or in the ocean, I have to put a stop to it. So that's where the whole zero manufacturing waste was always an end goal for me. Kevin Wilden, I'm the co-founder of Sustainable Surf. We're a nonprofit based in California and we help the surf industry around the world figure out ways to make a more sustainable product and help protect and restore ocean health. The majority of surfboards made in California, all that waste just goes to the landfill. And Ryan figured out a way to actually reduce the waste. This is the Living Earth Systems, and see this right here? See those holes, see this? This is styrofoam. And those holes are literally made, that little guy that just got out, that's a, a super worm. So it's a specific type of mealworm. Basically it has a bacteria in its gut that allows it to take an inorganic material such as styrofoam and turn it into an organic material. And so basically they eat this styrofoam and they poop out organic soil. A third of the waste is shaping dust, shaping waste, right? And the mealworms, the living earth systems, that's that solution. The other two thirds is all from the glassing and the excess resin, stir sticks, gloves, squeegees, brushes, all these things add up. So what we have here is our production waste. We call this our shred, and it is literally densified surfboard production waste. We upcycle it, a shreddy coaster, right? There's another coaster. Like we did a yellow board, you can see it right there. This is a construction grade tile. There's no better example of that transition, that movement than Earth Technologies and Ryan Harris's shop. It's in the name. We use sustainable materials from the planet to make the boards a higher performance product. Cheers with us as we're counting down to the Emmys and toasting LA Unscripted. Here are some of my backyard beauty tips and hacks with me, Brooke. So Maya, she has a lot of curly hair and it's amazing, but sometimes you get kind of bored with curly hair, you don't know what to do with it. So a fun little look is where I take the bangs and just kind of leave those out. You don't have to do anything fancy, just kind of get some hair and we're gonna do a messy bun on top. And just kind of switch up her look. So then we'll add some bobby pins at the end and it will give it just like a fun, fresh new look. From hot spots to hidden gems, I will go anywhere and try any trend. Go ahead, dare me. Or double dog Dana dare me. It's not really like a lipstick. I will always say it's a lip blush. A lip blush, that's the perfect way to say it. Oh yeah, lips for days, Let let's see. go. It is time for my Dana Dare lip tattoo. Mwah. How you feel? That's not bad. Wow, I have an upper lip now. Forget it, you're fired, that's you're it. Fired, that's it, bye. Oh my God, you no, fire Yeah. A little bit of a swirl. Not the glass of the thing. <laughs> <laughs> we were both going like this. Okay, swirl it, okay. Okay, so what have been wow. your favorite moments? Uh, Roller skating. Oh, okay. skating. Okay, I have to say my favorite moment was okay. doing the aerial yoga with oh. you, and your feet were in my face, no, 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 and no. your butt your was in my foot, face. Your foot and your booty were in my face for I an hour. I was stuck. And amazing. But what was yours, I Megan? Um, probably breaking things with oh, you. Oh, that was oh, so I fun. Literally got bats bashing cars. This is LA Unscripted. We're exhausted. But We're you exhausted. look good. Are, are those I don't know what kind of shit. Ellie Unscripted is a party and what? This is your official invitation. Okay. 
Okay, Jason, thank you so much for sharing your vision with us. Janine, oh, I've got your cup here. And of you. course, it's LA Inscripted, which means for champagne, we have martini glasses, of course. But of course, we're gonna see how the KTLA virtual red carpet is for the very first time. Also, cheers to Sam, Jess, Megan, and Doug. You guys, here you go. Thank you so much. Today, the sneak peek. Tomorrow, the real thing. Cheers. cheers. Yay. Show for everyone. Damn, your hair looks good. <laughs> your hair looks really good. Thank you, thank you. Dreams coming to life. <laughs> Three of us We are going off the rails. I am so excited, you guys, because we are partnering with Anya Starr with Style Smart. <laughs> Watch LA Unscripted. Definitely booger real stuff. <laughs> you don't you wanna drink it within the week and go out there. That won't be a problem. <laughs> it was so cute on this. Why is it not cute on me? Oh, look at that. The chicken yes. dance 